What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, Stan Fischler hot take. I mean, the hot takes coming out of hockey Twitter. I think that's, if they keep up, I think this winter could be the warmest on record. With the amount of heat, they'll be able to to uh, bring the East Coast. But the uh, Evgeny Malkin for Eric Stahl trade, it's, yeah, no, it's... Just probably the dumbest of the hottest of dumb hot takes of all time. And I like Fischler as a hockey mind, but like this is what do you say last a couple weeks ago about the Penguins to look to trade Crosby? Now it's like what what are you just like throwing shit against the wall to get a stick? I mean, remember I got shit with the uh, you know possibility of Dougie Hamilton for Travis Hamonic trade. No oh, hot take city over here. It's like no, I just I could see from a hockey perspective you throw in a few X's and O's, some things can work, but obviously um, you know this is like. Malkin signed through for the next seven years. He's 29 years old, still very much in his prime, carrying this team. You know, that goal he had the other night against Edmonton was like, what? And then Stahl's a pending free agent, and they're not going to – I mean, what's the point of trading for him to have to re-sign him? It's like, you know, and then he's two years older than Malkin. Malkin's better than he is. Malkin is worse, just, you know – Better than Stahl at, you know, medium. I mean, Stahl at his best was 100-point guy, 45, goal guy. Stanley Cup champ, all that shit. But, like, you know, there's been so many, you know, the peaks and valleys. There's been so many valleys in Stahl's career that it's like, what the f- Really? He's not a future Hall of Famer. You know, he's a very, very good player. I thought when he first came up, he had the chance to be, you know, a legitimate 5 600 goal guy. You know, a couple cups, you know, play on, you know, a lot of really good teams. But, obviously, he's played on one really, really good team in his career. Then the other Carolina team, that went to conference finals 2009. So, I mean, the cup team, 09, that's it. Two playoff appearances and, you know, 12 years in the show is like, you know, show me the baby here. But, again, I think the mere notion of them trading Malkin for anything less than... It wouldn't be... You want to trade Malkin for another center straight up... If hypothetically you were going to trade him, and I don't think they are, you know, you, you try to get some help on defense, maybe get some, you know, cheaper, not cheaper, but better bottom six options on the forward group. You know, there's, you'd go for more of a package than a one for one deal, you know. But they're not trading Malkin. Okay. That's not happening. So thanks, Stan, for giving me some hot takes to dish on because this is like really one of the good, really, really good hockey minds in the world is spewing this nonsense. Come on, man. Get it together. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.